I have never understood the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Why would you ever want to make life seem really great right before a kid cashes out? Does that make any sense? To be like, hey there, Timmy. Meet Derek Jeter. Have a good nap, you know? A lot of comedians have their routines set in place. You, however, though, are someone with the social media handles at Rob Loves Arguing. You're very aware and opinionated on social media and aware of what's going on around you in the news. I'm curious, how much does that play into your comedy? Uh, you know where it plays into the comedy now. It's just, uh, for years, I was like social commentary, we'll say. But uh, I think that we hit sort of a threshold with it where people started wanting to revert back into the inside for a little bit as like social media, like you said, goes to the extreme of everybody has to have an opinion. I feel like comedy almost retracts in a way during that good comedy, in my opinion, retracts during that time and sort of goes back into the personal. Um, what's fun about caring about that stuff so much is really when you meet people and you can do, I, I, I'm a, I'm big into crowd work now. I've been doing a lot more crowd work since I moved to New York. It's just a natural function of like the time spent in New York. And like, it's such a great thing to get people to trust you when you show that, you know, a little bit past like the surface level of their culture, when you can like hit on something like, uh, you know, there's a large Indian population in Canada. And like, when you actually ask them, okay, but Northeast, South or West like that, even just that extra little bit, you know, sometimes whatever. And as a dude who, yes, I love arguing and I pay a lot of attention to stuff. Now I feel like instead of just going out there and like, uh, it's it's a comfort level that you can show people where you go like, hey, I know some stuff about this before you listen to the rest of it. So just so you know, it comes from a place of like actual education as opposed to just surface level, you know, uh, understanding some things. I don't even know if that's what you asked really, but I made it what I wanted. No, it makes sense because <laughs> it's like, it's like you have to know the rules before you're allowed to break them, right? Which I feel as though what you're giving me here now, do you think uh, society is too sensitive? No, no. And I don't want them to be any other way. This is all good. It's all good. You know, is it a bit too much at times? Is it a little annoying? Sure. But culture being more sensitive. I mean, you know, even just the way you phrase it, why would it ever be bad or more sensitive? It's just like play. You just got to play in those rules. I know they're more sensitive. Every comic on earth knows they're more sensitive. So just deal with the more sensitive people. You know, it's like before. We used to be, you know, when I started, I was, a, I was, a, a, I wasn't a dark comic. I was a dirty comic. I used curse words, you know, and now it's like, use all the curse words you want. Nobody stops you from cursing. It's a new set of rules that we're playing with. We've always played with a set of rules. And it's, and honestly, these ones are more fun. There's more lines to walk up to now. So like, you know, without those lines, I serve no function. Like I'm, life is not better for me if we're just all insensitive as a comic, because then what are, we, what are we playing with? So no, we should all be more sensitive. It's good culturally. And I would rather what's good for the culture than what's good specifically for me as a comic selfish. I'm not that selfish, you know? So I'm glad that like we don't throw rocks at folks no more, you know? We've it's made great. progress from stoning yes. people. That is good. Yes, very good. All right. So, uh, you know, here's the elevator pitch. Uh, what can the audience in Burlington at Yuck Yucks on November 24th and 25th, expect from the Rob May Comedy Act. Uh, Jason, I'm one of the best comics in the country, and I am I'm stranded here for a period of time due to visa status. So enjoy my exile from America while you can. I am, I'll, I'll be here for a short period of time. You don't see a lot of me here. You know, Canada doesn't necessarily nurture my particular comedic voice, which is why I left for six years. But unfortunately, a pandemic happened. I didn't uh, renew stuff, and now I'm here again. And so this is your benefit, Burlington and wherever. Come see me. If you like edgy comedy, it, you, you got, it's, a nice, it's a nice treat.